It's time to sit down with this guy. This actor is pretty amazing. He's been on the hit show Charmed. He's also in one of my very favorite guilty pleasures, Sleepwalkers. Uh, and before we bring him in, here's a little clip from Sleepwalkers. But I want to. Slower. But I thought we understood each other, Tanya. Oh man, definitely one of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, movies out there uh, is Sleepwalkers. But please welcome my brother, Brian Krause, everybody. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, good morning. Good morning, man. How are you? I'm good, man. Is it morning? It is morning. Yeah, it's still yeah, it's technically uh, late morning. Yeah. Late morning. What's up, man? It's happening. Good to be here. Damn, man. I appreciate you being here. It really means a lot. Um, man, today's uh, today's crazy. Crazy day, crazy you, day. Yeah. You, have you already been like running around and you know interviewing with other people and all that? No, stuff? I you know flying in from LA last night, so I'm oh, still okay. on uh, West Coast time. I'm a little sleepy. Yeah, a little bit. I've had some coffee. I've checked out the place. Uh, so it's today's gonna be amazing. Yeah, I was uh, gonna say, where's my coffee? It's, I figured yeah, you would I hook will, us up. It's if. It, it, uh, it, it's somewhere. Yeah. It's, uh, he forgot it, guys. It's right here. It's, it's right there. It's in his belly. You know, you know just, I'll just you know, choke you out real quick. <laughs> so, um, so tell me a little bit. Um, okay, so charmed, right? Um, how did you get the gig in the first place? What was? Is there any crazy background story of the auditions or anything crazy like that? Yeah, I think the craziest part. So I had auditioned for a couple different roles, yeah. uh, and at the time I had just had a kid and. You know, it oh. was I was doing whatever I could to work, yeah. and I was at the time I was doing I was retrofitting houses, so we were crawling under houses and you know adding earth, really? earthquake stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, and I got an audition for the same day to go over and audition for Charmed. I was like, man, I just went in last week, like, you know, and I, I need to make this hundred bucks today, right. slinging a hammer. Or my wife is gonna kick my ass. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, well I'll go, I'll go, and so I run over there and audition, and then they they're like, okay, you need to come back at four, and I'm like. Man, there goes my wow. whole day. Like, I'm not getting paid today is all I'm thinking, right? Right, right. And so I do, I do it. I come back at 4, and they're like, great. All right, can you come back at 6 and read for Aaron Spelling? And I'm like, okay, great. Like, this never goes anywhere. Right, You know, right. like, uh And now I've blown the whole day. I'm not getting paid. And I come back in, and and I'm doing it. Like, I, I'm prepared. And when you go in for Aaron Spelling, he, he had this huge couch where 20 people could literally sit on a couch. <laughs> And you're on the other side of the room with 20 people. It's it's one of the most nerve-wracking rooms wow. you would ever go in. And so I walk in, and I've met Mr. Spelling a, a million times on different things. And right. so I'm like, all right, you know, I'm already, I'm going to say, good to see you again, right? Yeah. I know. I got my little speech when I walk in, and I'm like, oh, Mr. Spelling, great to see you again. And he looks up and he's like, oh, Brian, nice to meet you. Oh, I'm like, nice to. meet Meet me? It's like, what? Nice to meet me? I've met you a million times, <laughs> exactly. right? And instantly I got pissed off, right? I was yeah. like, you know, screw this whole thing. Screw him for not knowing me. Screw you, screw you, screw you. And, well, and so, so you I- came, You walked in without, like, without a care in the and, world. And I gave this whole audition, like, just pissed off. I don't care. Right. I'm sick of it. I'm over it. I'm tired of being treated this way. Wow. I, I read, like, wah, 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 through I said, thank you very I didn't even give him a chance. And then I just walked out. Wow. And wow. they called me an hour later and said, they would love you. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so what that's I've so learned crazy. Is, I learned is don't care. Don't care. Yeah. Wow. You know, that's a good thing to do. <laughs> wow. Like, you know, like, I'm just going to. Just don't care. I don't oh care. my God, he's so interesting. I'm done. Wow, we need you. Yeah, no, 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 I'm See good. See how that works? No. We you know, need like, you. No, care. we need you. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop shaving <laughs> yeah. entirely. I'm gonna stop washing my balls. See? It's gonna be fine. Yeah. It's gonna be totally fine. Well, people you might see? care. 
<laughs> they might. <laughs> they might care about it. <laughs> they might that. But I mean, congratulations on the success with, with Charmed and all that. And I know I've heard a lot, you know, because I've done my research on you and looking you up and everything. And I, I've heard a lot of people ask you about a possible reboot with, with Charmed, right. um, the original cast. So, um, what do you think of that? Like, what, is there any possibilities of a I, I don't reunion, know. maybe? I, you know, there's always a possibility. Uh, yeah. You know, the WB and C, uh, CBS own the show and the, all the rights to it. So right. if it were to happen, it would have to come from them. Uh, yeah. I know uh, Rose and Holly and Alyssa and Shannon, they've all said they've, you know, they're all willing to do it and come back together. And right. we still all talk and are friends. Uh, you know, and we'd love to do it because the fans are constantly reaching out to us and they, they love us and they want it. Uh, yeah. So whether the new show is taking off and exploding the right. way the first one was, I still feel the fans kind of, they want to pull in the old with the new. Right. Uh, so, you know, never say never. It, it is, is that a possibility. Your that is That's right. your uh, Catch me on the... <laughs> He's going to get his coffee. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Coffee, but uh, so tell me about uh, like you know they they now have that new reboot you know the, right. the new show. Uh, any possibilities of maybe doing some cameos and like sneaking in there? At it's all? possible. You know nobody's come to me and said, oh, we right. need Leo in the show uh, yet. So uh, you hear first, <laughs> yet. right here. Yet Leo. There you go. <laughs> you hear first. Uh, right here. Bring him back on the show. You never know. Come on. You never know. Um, I know the people that created the show and you know some of our actresses have had Twitter feuds and the whole thing of how really? things go. Yeah. And Oh. You know, I uh, Have you ever been entwined in that, I, that no. Twitter feud? No. Like, or in <laughs> have you ever been entwined in you that see Twitter? See me on Twitter? I tweet feud? like once every 2 months. No. Yeah. Yeah, I you're not you're not picking up what I'm putting down, but it's okay. Oh, should I? Were you in one? No. <laughs> Every man has a dream. <laughs> oh, oh, and let's oh, move on to the next subject. Yeah, well. <laughs> oh no. So um, so, <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the Sleepwalkers because okay, personally, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. It's one of my favorite uh, horror movies out there. It's 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 just over the top, you know, it's crazy. Uh, did you know what you were walking into, uh, you know, signing on to that, that, uh, uh, that movie? Not really, I, no. Uh, I hadn't watched a lot of horror up to that point. Yeah. I mean, I was pretty young, 22, I think, when we did it. Um, and I wasn't really a big horror fan, but of course I knew Stephen King, and you know, I had been scared by him before. So <laughs> right. going into it, I uh, didn't read all of the script when we first auditioned, yeah. and then once we got it, and I met with Mick Garris, and he told me it's kind of like Werewolf in London, which is a horror, a comedy. It's really kind right. of an offbeat comedy, and that's what he was going for in this. And you know, then I read the script, and I'm like, where's the funny? Like, <laughs> right. But uh, you know, he's such an amazing director and artist, and so right. that's what he. And so a lot of the stuff is, you know, it's over the top. Oh it's, yeah. Corny, it's yeah. you know the whole bit. But, I mean, uh, my favorite line is every man, every everybody should keep a hand, their hands to themselves. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And here's yours. And here's that was yours. that was <laughs> brilliant, brilliant writing. What was it like? Cop kebab, I like that one. Oh the, the yeah, oh the cop kebab was a cop good one too. Kebab. That was a good one too. Uh, but what, what is it? What was it like working with Stephen King? I mean, because I know he was directing the whole he, thing, uh, and there's a lot of cameos in that. Yeah, in that movie. there were a lot, and I, I actually never got to meet him uh, yet. So you know, I'm ready for the. Next next one that's yeah. that's a joke right no I had gone to... out and he came in and did his whole thing in the cemetery there oh, okay. uh, when I wasn't there and him and Toe Booper and all the guys were they did their thing and oh, wow. then they brought Brian they're like okay here I'm like wow I want to meet everybody right <laughs> like, yeah right. oh that's crazy it kept me away so it was you know so I'm ready for the next one of course it's sleepwalker two. sleepwalkers two possibly I could come back. Hmm. I was magical-ish. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, you know right? what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you guys could, like, feed me a couple virgins. Change cars and stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Um, uh, but, uh, so tell me a little bit about um, Return to the Blue Lagoon. Oh, man. Uh, uh, what was that all, what was that like, you know, working out uh, on a beautiful beach and, you know, all I that? Tell you, you know, Did you was... eat at all? Did you ever eat? Cause yeah. Because it looked like, because you were, you know, I, nicely svelte. I, I, man, so, it's, uh... It's funny, you know, I, I swam in high school and I was kind of scared of it because, you know, you had to wear the damn right. 
speedo, and yeah. I used to jump in the pool, like, towel to the edge, and then dive in. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, I was really shy. And then I got this movie, and it's like, you know, oh, you're going to be naked for three months on an island, and everybody's going to see you naked. So it was, you know, we worked out a lot. But I tell you, we went to Fiji, uh, to Taviuni, which is the garden island, and uh, we had the pleasure of going to different villages that were on the island yeah. that you can't really go into uh, as a tourist. And they brought us in, and, you know, the locals would take me out into their swimming holes that you can't swim in, and they'd right. bring me in. and. It was amazing for me to see these people live in villages, sleep on the floor, in grass huts and oh, metal yeah. things, and a village that they'd share a t-shirt to go out, or shoes, there was a pair of shoes right. for all the men, and you know, these people had nothing, and wow. yet they had everything. They were the happiest people on the planet that I had ever met in my life, and they had community, and they had family. Yeah. And, you know, here we come with our $30 million production, <laughs> like, oh, you know, everything that's so important. And, and for me at 21, it was that, you know, coming of age, but then it also kind of just, it was like, man, what's important here is just right. this community that these people had. And, Absolutely. And, you know, the love they had. And, you know, we yeah. would call them third world, and yet they were so much more rich than we were. It's like it much was, more advanced. It you just know? changed my life. And then coming back into Hollywood, I was like, what is all this materialistic right. junk? And it, I really kind of went into a, a funk for a little bit. Like, man, that's, I want to go back to the yeah, island, right, you know? Right, right. Uh, but it was, for me, it was, you know, it, I grew up out there, and uh, I'd love to go. If you ever get a chance to go to Fiji, the people are amazing. It's, it's beautiful. It's, it's well worth it. I would, I, would love, I would love to try that sometime, for sure. Absolutely. Um, any, any new projects coming up? I know that you just got done um, doing some voiceover for the Fallout game. Yeah, they just came out. Yeah, congratulations thanks, on that. Thanks, thanks. Um, actually, I was uh, the voice of on uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Really? A long time ago. Nice. Yeah. So I'm sure you had to do many different takes with one line. Bunch of different many, takes. Many, many times. Uh, and then I did a, a few different voices. Uh, so that's something I'm, I'm, I'm new at. And I'm, right. I'm trying, I'm the rookie in the voiceover world. So I'm, yeah. I'm trying to break into it and, you know, auditioning a bunch. And yeah. it's, uh, it's fun, you know? That's awesome. It's fun. Uh, that's awesome. Besides that, I'm writing right now. And we're, we're developing a little horror script. Oh, nice. Uh, I finished a movie that'll be out later this year called The Windigo. The Windigo, okay. The, you know, The Windigo, yeah. uh, Native American lore. and nice. uh, That's kind of the movie. And, you know, I'm the evil sheriff that gets killed, of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, and that'll probably that's be out cool. October, November. Uh, so I say, you know, just, just plugging away, man, trying Sweet. to get the next one and, you yeah. know, walk in the next room and Let's go. That's awesome, man. Chasing the dream. Yeah, when to go, huh? Still. When to go. Still <laughs> yeah. chasing the dream. But hey, you know, you've already yeah. caught it. I mean, like, you know, it's just I'm here to read for it. Uncle Leo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. The walker. What do you everything. mean, nice to meet me? And then, uh, it'll be a whole different scenario. Exactly. You know? Whoa. Beat people <laughs> <my cane. laughs> So true. Yeah. So true. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to go into a quick commercial break. Uh, but when we come back, we're here with Brian Krause. See you guys in a little bit. Peace. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Pascal. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But if you want to check out some more of our stuff, we got some great interviews, skits, parodies, and other great music. Go and click that like button on the Facebook page. And also, we do have a YouTube channel. Go, go hit that subscribe button real quick. It would really mean a lot. We got other great stuff over there as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Much love to you guys. Peace. That boy is good. P A S C A L. You are now rocking with that dude Pascal. We be going wild.